talking about, though. It's like I, I still personally like the idea of transitioning into a Lycan offline uh, Nice Soccer for support instead, and then going a different safe laner. Can you Dark Seer here? Can, can they actually easily kill PBD up against Voodoo Restoration? It doesn't look like they can. They already TB the the Skyrat down bottom, and there's just no chance. You're if you're ever going against a Witch Doctor and a Warlock in lane, you're more than likely not going to get a kill, and you're just going to be healing up, trying to apply pressure. This just feels like a almost a three lane win now for for Optic. Well, at least Leviathan now get this. The the Sky Mage said you'd go down towards the bottom lane where uh, Pycat sitting at like zero total health pool will just get destroyed by these bolts. So gotta be really careful. We see he does have the stick already, he does have a little bit of restoration, but and this is like the most cost effective harassment you'll ever get out of a Sky Wrath Mage is the versus Morphling matchup, and now Zai challenging them. Not really sure about that one. He's gonna take a lot of right clicks, but Looks like he will still survive as it will be BSJ oh, top lane oh. to die as they're brawling in bottom. All right, that's on me. I should have known for up. Well, you're the one who said he said that, right? He yeah. didn't actually like make that a public statement, so he's yeah. keeping that kind of reserved. No, I, I think if you Maybe. read his Twitter, he's pretty. If you watch the stream, he's a pretty confident young man. Bottom he got lane. confident in these games. Nushim, though, on the bottom lane is going to get slammed by Zai. And super easy kill, as fast as he may be. Castle has already been used, they have the clap. Some good damage, but it's not a kill. I mean, I guess Nushim has a little bit of a better matchup, or at least a not as bad matchup, but Jake is on bottom lane because there's no Nushim. He's gonna get dove under the tower, and he can get some CS next time he tries to do that, because, you know, Maledict's cooldown pretty long, but TP's cooldown is pretty significant as well. But looking for Pycat over in the bottom lane, it is Darkness, so Morphling, not Strength Morphing, still Silence, still Silence. He is gonna have some angst to turn around and get a kill on Nushim. Because Zai's been beating the crap out of him the entire time. A form has only two wand charges, and he's just gonna get right click to death into the tier twos. Pie Cat just short 15 HP. They'll take down Low Card instead. Concussive coming in onto Zai, but is there dust? There is dust. And it looks like Sam Ford will get his dues finally. Maybe. Please tell me he gets something. Okay. Finally doing so they they get a kill, but top lane. That's the beat does. Look at me now. <laughs> no, but I, it's Thank a 5k you. lead. Look at Morph, man. He he is going Lincolns. You know what he's going to block. Good luck with that, Night Stalker. Well, we still haven't seen CCMC really start playing the game either. He's been PvE the entire time. They're onto Jenkins, though. He's charging for the runes. He'll get them all. And actually baiting the Witch Doctor into Sammy Boy, this Ember Spirit. And he actually get a little bit more action. Looks like the Leech Seed heal plus the Voodoo Restoration means that he just doesn't have enough damage. He does have more than enough spirits to jump to and he'll take a little bit of damage and then finally jump out. Maybe a little bit late? Uh, bottling? Trying? That seemed like a really delayed jump. And the two that was uh, purely calculated. Jakiro is one of the tankier intelligence supports in the game, I guess. But I mean, not getting the kill on the Jakiro, I'm pretty sure they're going to be okay with that. Especially since Pycat is hunting Jenkins. Is he just a solo kill him? Yeah, he's got him, man. There is. Damn. This is... That hood. What a good pickup. Here comes the reinforcements. A Huskar with double damage rune. Zai will root down the Skywrath Mage and Nushim. He's got the Oov on him and yeah, he's just gonna get life broken. Actually, PPD, he's challenged. So far, zero points living armor. Definitely adaptation from the Ember Spirit, the Jakira, the Skywrath Mage. It's like quick damage dealers, but usually like the reason you pick up Dream Protector, at least it used to be, is for that spell explicitly. They're gonna root down two over in mid lane. This Jakiro is so boned. Down. This is starting to look real rough for him because it's not like they stalker. I guess they're both day stalkers now. Void to cancel? No, no. Or it, it oh. and it wouldn't have either because it switched to it switched to daytime and now Void does not mini stun during the day. So we got That's extremely like lucky. Half yeah. a second. Yep. They're about to care. They still have this Aegis Huskar. They're gonna TP in at least a tree right now and look. They're already gonna start backing up. They saw no one went into like their base. They're like, wait, they're just all missing now. Oh, he's got the overgrowth. BSJ and Night Stalker both caught as Pycat's gonna come in from behind along with 3-3. Jenkins is in a lot of trouble and will be for Frost down. CCC life breaks onto BSJ. They split the flare between the two of them. They're both just fine. Nushim is gonna get pushed out of his TP. The rest of the dogs might kill offside. We saw him eat a, the whole Mystic Flare with Sealed Corn. He's not he's even deal, so. Now he's got that physical resist versus BSJ for everybody, uh, specifically for CCMC as his kind of a big defender, but just go straight in. Uh, 
Ice Tower is not really being defended, although BSJ is pushing over in mid lane, so they're getting at least something. There's no way they actually defend this. He's sitting in Macrofire. He actually just doesn't care. I don't even know if he noticed he's in Macrofire. <laughs> I love it. He's he just, he actually didn't care. He already popped the hood and he still didn't care afterwards. He knows CC and C can heal him up too with that inner vitality soul ring, so whatever. Uh, do you really want to challenge the Huskar after you lose Rax? He still has that Aegis. And now it's daytime, so he's oh he's just gonna turn around straight onto low guard. Ice path is gonna hold him for a couple of seconds, but he's just gonna get dropped afterwards. Rax claimed BSJ gets two towers in the meantime. So again, they get something. I doubt they're gonna get anything on the retreat though. Oh my god. Zai just I'm sorry, Zai just used three different routes to stop BSJ from TPing. He just played him really hard. Yeah, CCMC got the Aegis. Full restore, jumps right back onto Jenkins. The flare is off. I don't know if it did any damage, I couldn't tell, and there goes Jenkins. Sammy Boy, that's all he can contribute. Just one steering chains, he's done. That's all he can do. This is a feels bad. This is a good old fashioned ass whooping it is. I missed the kill on BSJ, but Zai stalking that entire time. BSJ did have a nice little play. He held the Dominator to the, the Dark Troll Summoner and netted Zai, but it did not matter apparently. We are gonna see well Husker sitting and everything again. But they only have magic damage here, so his resistances are off the charts, and now the split comes in, pushing everyone back. Low card's gonna be left behind as Sammy Boy does have the jump out. And is pushing forward. Eh, I don't know if they can kill off this Scarath Mage. They'll beat him up a little bit, but they're taking towers. They're pushing bottom at the same time. So like Pycat, he isn't even playing this game outside of killing off BSJ there. He just he's not needed yet. I actually think the panda might be unkillable without a five-on-one matchup. Especially with the pipe coming out to him. Damn. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, this is the optics just destroying him. I think this was kind of be expected if you've been watching NA Dota for the most part. It's, it always, it's always fun. This BSJ is a good player, but it's a big fight. Oh, they're trying to kill off the Huskar, but he gets the inner vitality off. He's going to go down. Finally, there's some physical damage in that fight, but now here comes the real raid boss. It's Pycat, wait for him right in. They also kill off Newsham, however, gets rooted down, and Rook goes right back the other way. Thailand go rope with pretty much everyone. Pycat, though. Still not right clicking, and they're gonna push forward. Getting a couple more. 33. It is a full 5v1 scenario. He's gonna be brought down. There's there's my 2% right there. He's got the book three, he's got the helm. He can do some split pushing. The problem is you have lost two lanes of racks, so your split pushing doesn't do anything. And now New Sham is dead. Almost gets a witch doctor, maybe. I don't know, it's definitely one of those scenarios where I'll actually find Pycat, bang him up a little bit, and he'll just ghost himself, jump in from the Ember Spirit, but no follow-up at the way for him, gets him out to safety, now the route onto the back line, onto pretty much everyone, CCMC, gonna jump in on and destroy the Ember Spirit, DSJ, he's gonna get Yule up, he falls back into four heroes, that's not where he wants to be, triple kill for the Huskar. What, Mike? We we got what two or three more games to cast them. We are getting the the smorgasbord of optic here. Okay, they're getting two more, and they have to uh, also go up against EG, which is going to be uh, that's going to be a little bit of a challenge for anyone that's go up against EG. But oh, look at the flare onto the brewmaster. He's going to pipe up and take about no damage. CC and C going to jump right in with the BKB. Right into Sammy Boy does get the jump out of there, but oh no, the adaptive strike cuts him down. He's dead for 40. Yeah. He definitely cannot afford the buyback in this game when he's just scraping together power treads. They'll just cycle through all the lanes, trying to half harden the naked fences. The Brute comes off on a three. DC is going to jump straight in onto Nushim, then Jenkins. Ice Path is great, but there's just no follow-up. And there's the GG call. This was... I think this is to be expected. It's just Optic is definitely one of the top three teams. I've actually had him at 1A, even over EG. They did lose to VJ, but they look good. You, you gotta look this good versus uh, these lower tier teams, right? Like, if you look back.